Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Asset Management Report. Today is Tuesday, March 4th, 2008. Kaysnov Capital's hedge fund team has hired Robin Griffiths to oversee the day-to-day -day management of its Kaysnov Worldwide Absolute Return Fund. He will aid in the asset allocation process for the firm's private wealth management business and will also work closely with, under, uh, with uh, other fund managers, particularly the multi-manager team, according to the Global Money Management Letter. Griffiths, who was recent, uh, whose most recent position was as head of asset allocation at Rathbones, is a veteran technical analyst of world stock markets, bonds, currencies, and commodities for over over 40 years. Also in hiring news, Cohen Asset Management has tapped Bernie Bazil as Director of Research of new position at the growing Los Angeles-based real estate investment firm. Bazil is primarily responsible for evaluating the impact of economic, capital market, and real estate trends as they relate to potential investment opportunities for Cohen Asset Management and its related entities. Prior to joining Cohen, Bazil spent several years at Torto Wheaton Research, where she worked alongside the Director of Investment Strategy. In, assets, uh, in asset management news overseas, Swiss private bank Claredien Lou has launched its asset management company in Dubai, offering clients local and exclusive private banking services and product, uh, products. Claredien Lou's enhanced presence in Dubai highlights the importance of the Middle East and represents part of, of an ongoing implementation of its growth strategy. Claredien Lou is an independent subsidiary of Credit Suisse. And in Asia, capitalizing on Korea's rapidly expanding equity fund industry, a growing number of global asset management companies are making inroads into the local market. The Capital Market Consolidation Act, which goes into effect early next year, will make it easier for newcomers to establish a foothold there, reports the Korea Times. Many foreign asset management firms started establishing a presence here from early last year when more Koreans began putting greater amounts of money into funds investing in equities and other financial products at home and abroad. According to the Korea Securities Research Institute, asset management firms having more than a 50% stake owned by foreigners had 66.3 trillion won, uh, won under management as of June last year. That's 25.6% of the total 259.4 trillion won, uh, won investments invested with all asset managers. The institute said the ratio could go up to as high as 40% later this year. And that rounds out today's asset management report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our asset management channel online and read the latest developments.